Hello everyone, welcome to more Let's Play Sunset Overdrive. I'm Serial Killer Jakey Lad Dude, I think. So last time we did mostly uh, story stuff, and we're going to do like some quests, obviously, because we're going to save the main story stuff for a bit. But uh, oh yeah, we also slayed a fucking dragon last time. That was sick. Uh, we're going to check some stuff from Jack, see if we need anything. Oh, just all these uh, weapons I don't have yet. And don't have enough to get all of them. I might get one in a bit. But, more importantly, we have Kalista here. And off screen, I completed all the challenges and got gold in all of them. So we're going to go through really quick to see if there's any new shit I got that I haven't shown off before. Do it, do it, do it. Uh, oh! Oh yeah, we got the bucket jacket. Is that what? I do like the backpack. I always like the digicamo on this. I don't think I'm going to wear it, but I do think that's all right. Uh, no new gloves. Uh, no new tattoos. Got glove birds. I think more than the birds, I like the band tattoo on the right forearm. That looks really cool. And nothing there. New jeans. Fuck it. Broken new jeans. In fact, let's change our entire thing while we're here. Uh, actually, oh, those boots. Those look good. Actually, let's rock these superhero shoes. I forgot to. Walk like it's for sale. Let's go with this sex burger shirt. I like that idea. Actually, I really like all these designs. I like this one a lot too. Let's stick with sex burger. Whatever look you're going for, you missed. Ah, uh, let's go with... Ah, uh, these gloves. Your ghoulish little fingernails. Hey, raise your hand. <laughs> I'm gonna check really quickly to see if there's any other challenges I haven't done yet. <laughs> but I think I should be fine. <laughs> no, I'm all good. All right. And I think this is the only- yep, this is the only quest we have. Flywork show. Now that Brill Cream's back, things will finally get back to normal. Well, normal for a post-apocalyptic wasteland, at least. I would be grateful for your help. I need to track someone down. It's for the benefit of the troop. Her name is Kim, and if we find her, she can upgrade the museum's perimeter defense system. Maybe your name is Kim. We're looking for Kim and Kim. Anyway, get a new trap out of this. The Pop Rocket Trap, which I don't remember using a whole lot. We must be discreet about this. Meet me at the apartment complex nearby. I'll be waiting on the street. And don't tell anyone else in the troop. I'll explain later. We'll go. I just noticed I'm wearing leopard print underwear. Hell yes. We have full tech today. Actually, um... Might change my weapons up a bit. I didn't grind off screen at all, by the way. Like, most of my shit is the same. Uh, oh, winter is coming with this? That would work so well. Let's change shit up a little bit. And there's only... Actually, let's stick with what we got. Let's not change things at all. Also, I shouldn't be wasting my ammo on these guys. But screw it, I can always get more. I've got the money, and the cans. Boingus? Can I grind on these? No, I can't. I suppose let's try, you know. Let's 
You got it here quick. By the way, for the zero of you who are wondering if we'll... You can call her just... See, I have four kins in mind. She has only one. Let's just find her. I know she's in this complex somewhere. She sent me a video of a trap she was making, but I didn't respond. Now she's gone silent. As I was saying, if you're wondering, yes, you will get that weapon that she's holding. It's called the AKFU. But why would I want, like, an automatic rifle when I've got an automatic firework launcher? I pose this question to you. No shit. I say you appear to be stuck. There we go. Saved him. That's the second time on this playthrough that an enemy's gotten stuck in a wall. Stuck in? Stuck. So stuck in mode. Well, at least it was only a few kids. Hello, just Kim. Kim's here. Oh, missed. I doubted myself. Ugh. Oh, we're covered though. I don't, but thanks for asking. Probably use a bit more of a bangy boomy weapon. There we go. One more left. Any time today, love. Kim? What are you 
you just doing here? OMG. It's you. You have a base at the Hepcat Diner, right? OMG! I've been watching you at night. You're amazing. I know. Um, we could really use some of your turrets. For your base? Or for Kim's uppity troop? Come on, does it matter? Whatever. Okay, I'll give you my turret plans. Thank you. If you show me you can handle them. You will kill one million OD right here on this roof. I'll lure them in from the east side of the complex, but I can't guarantee they won't come from other directions too. Play some turrets and let's get going. One million OD? I don't want to be here all day. Okay, fine. One thousand. One hundred. Then you give us the plans and we move on. 125, my final offer. But you can't use any guns! <laughs> so put one there. Get one a bit higher, a bit more elevation. That's good. And we'll put one around here by the pool. Actually, no, there's already one there. Pull one link behind him a little bit. Scare him off. Uh, oh! Oh, I can't do it there? Damn, alright. Let's put one... Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Pick up your authorized OD face smasher. I said no guns, but you can still bash their brains in. <laughs> okay, ready to impress me with those turrets? Don't let them drink all the overcharge, or I'll make you start over. <laughs> I just noticed there's a little marshmallow at the end. Also, this is the only mission where I think you see this kind of stick thing. Damn, they do not have as much range as I remember them having. What? Will do! Oh, accidentally pressed the wrong weapon wheel. Put one here right on the pool of the of the overcharge. Oh, I can't. Easier to keep them all close. Oh, that's right. Pull of O charges the VAT thing. I remember now. I'm enjoying this way too much, just Kim. I'm enjoying. Um, I'm enjoying. I'm concerned, is what I meant to say. I thought got stuck. Play some turrets and let's get going. One million OD. Wait, how far back am I? Here all day. Okay, fine. One oh damn, seriously? One hundred. Then you give us the plans and we move on. One twenty-five, my final offer. But you can't use any guns. I said no guns, but you can still bash their brains in. <laughs> okay, I'm ready.
ready to impress me with yeah, didn't mean to get the dial up there. Sorry. The or I'll make you start over. I mean, having the rockets pretty close really does help. So I recommend doing that as a strategy. Okay. Oh, again, wrong wheel. Just keep them really close together. Smash, smash, smash them. I don't remember if this is a challenge you can do on its own either. But if it is, I don't think I'll be able to ace it on stream. I mean, I'll give it a try, but just one try. there. Ow. Come on. No, 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 no. There we go. Wow. What an amazing show. Okay. The turret plans are yours. Cool. Thanks. If you give me your phone number. You know, for trap tips and stuff. Uh, okay, just promise not to call me when I'm busy, which is pretty much all the time. OMG! OMG! Best day ever! This is the only time in the entire game that the player character is hinted at as, is hinted at as having a romance with someone, and even then he outright rejects it. Or she. Yeah, I didn't know that, Floyd. <laughs> Said it several times last time. I was gonna make sure it's not a challenge. Uh, no. All right then. On to the next story mission, which is where again? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is the closest place. So let's go here. Probably knew that. I made a new base for us in the harbor. Perfect place to cook up some new amps. I kind of want to change my trousers because I don't like the leopard print. Hey, it's Floyd. You you probably knew that. I made a new base for us in the harbor. Perfect place to cook up some new amps. It's amazingly amazing. When this is over, I'm gonna buy. You Come on, Hello, my two-hatted friend. You give that ammo a good home in somebody's head. And you know what? I reckon. I reckon we'll get us um, get some new weapons to use. That gun was destined for the chosen one, but I guess you can have it. <laughs> I'll pick that up too. Children. I build them. Love them, then I sell them at a good price. And should we get a tour copter? Yeah, you got the money. Right, please clean her and polish her every night. 
Remember, always keep one in the chamber. And I'll add those weapons to my will now. So we'll replace this with the one-handed dragon. I've already shown the videos for these, so don't need to rewatch them. Um, I'll replace the Ahab with the smart mine. And simply because it's a deployable weapon, I'll be getting rid of the acid sprinkler for uh, to bring him to the turret copter. Uh, English hard sometimes. Um, oh, I should also actually talk about the weapons from my own perspective. Because I bought them now. So the one-handed dragon. As you can see, super duper effective against the OD, pretty good against humans and boss characters. Weak as shit against Fizko. It does pretty decent damage, and it has a good radius at a low rate of fire cost. It's a single shot style weapon, as you can see. Shot six to enemies and set them on fire, then detonate after a short period for a small radial damage and higher radial fire splash. It's got one of the coolest effects in the game with the double... Uh, I think it's not just double, I think it's more than two green dragons. It's just a hell of a fun weapon to use. Um, it is preferable for using against like groups of OD and enemies that's uh, strong against. So, yeah, if you're going to use it, make sure you're using it against a group of them and not just like one and hoping for the best. Next is the Turricopter, which is going to be one of the main weapons on my rotor. As you can see, it does pretty good damage against all enemy types. However, it's got extremely low power. It makes up for that with a high duration. And I think, like the Acid Sprinkler, you can have three turret copters out at once. Uh, it fires out a projectile that pops up into a floating turret, low damage, high range, long lifetime. So, while not the most damaging thing, it uh, it's, it's durable, if nothing else. It's enduring. Finally, a really good weapon which I'm surprised isn't on my rotor. Uh, the Proximity Mine does really good damage against almost everything, mostly against humans, uh, really good damage against the OD and bosses, least effective against the Fizco, but 2 out of 4 stars is not bad. As you can see, really good power and radius, also a one-shot uh, weapon as well, or single shot rather. Launches Sticky Mines that attach to objects and search for enemies that come into close proximity before exploding, which is kind of a kind of an issue, and if you launch it directly onto an enemy, it won't wait before exploding, it'll explode on impact. It's basically sort of like the TN Teddy, which I'm keeping around because I'm never getting rid of a gun that shoots exploding teddy bears. Man, Norton turned into a dragon and tried to kill everybody? You know what I do if I turn into a dragon? Just enjoy being a fucking dragon. So you get it. Oh, do I have. Can I get the Second Amendment amp? Or is it not there? Damn. No, no, no. I think we'll unlock them if we do this mission, though. Go to find Ignatius of House Fargarpia. Also, oh, that's right, this is a new area. There's probably new maps we're going to be able to get. I'll get a chat really quick. I don't think we can get them until we do the Fargothia mission. Yeah, they're sold out, which means we can't get them yet, but we will be able to. And that's where you go. Boom, boom. My ass. Boom, boom. I'm not going to waste uh, uh, ammo on enemies a lot on the way there. I'm just going to try and get there. And here I am. Welcome to LARP Heaven, you fucking weebs. I'm 
looking for Ignatius? Interloper! Whoa, whoa, what's an interloper? Somebody call off Roid Rage! Huh. Come forth, burglar, and face my justice! Time out or whatever. Uh, do you wish to swear fealty to the king? Yeah, fealty. Let's do it. Proceed to the altar. After many, after lighting many candles. On bended knee. Do you swear by the old gods and the new to serve King Ignatius? <coughs> Wait. That's Ignatius? Do you swear fealty? Yeah, yeah, by all the gods and trees and wizards and stuff. Is my quinceanera over now? <coughs> you may rise. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but does the king need a coroner? Alas, our king has fallen ill. I pray you can liberate him from the spirits that afflict him. I sense some epic missions in my future. My name is Wendy, and I'm the only one around here who's not living in a 12th century fantasy. So listen, Ignatius is sick, for real. He needs 21st century food and medicine. Got it. Real food and medicine and maybe a shrink dressed as a cleric or something? Seriously, he needs your help. I'm worried for him. I like Wendy. She don't take shit. Uh, anyway, mission success. A group of LARPers were psychologically damaged on Horror Night and now believe they live in the 12th century, and the King Ignatius is on his deathbed. So there's that. Um, well, new place. And we have new maps. Need new weapons? No. A full magazine makes the world a brighter place. And does Kalisa have anything new for me? I don't think she does. Oh! I forgot I had the scab pipe as well. Uh, new melee shit. I don't think she has anything new because we just got hit, but I'll have a look. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh yeah, we have the elf ears now. Which I'm not going to wear, but I thought I'd point them out. Uh, I mean, nothing else really worth doing. Okay. We do have a bunch of challenges. We may as well give them a go before we do the quest. Let's just, like, go from the top and roll our way down. Blah. Here we go. Traversal challenge 11 and 12. Wait, they're not all listed? Oh, I've already done that one. Oh, I've done that one. Book's Revenge. What's Book's Revenge again? I'm going to check what that is really quick. Go fast travel there really quick because I'm having trouble remembering what it is because it's been like a, a week since I did it. Oh, this place. Okay, so it's just the traversal challenges then. All right. So 11 and 12. And we'll give them both a good try and we probably won't win. As you can see, quite a long one. Looks fun. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You've got to be so precise with that shit. Is 
Is that enough? Eh, one more try. I really fucked up the, the start there. Oh, come on, it's all... It's, uh, it's always that part that fucks me. Everything else after that is mostly fine. Please let that be good enough. I don't know, beat my old score too. God damn, that took so many attempts. I just wanted to get out of the way. Thankfully anyone uh, watching on YouTube, they'll be edited quite heavily. In fact, you'll only see my first and last attempts. I don't like this one, I'm grateful I don't have to fix the Twitch audience because goddamn that would have been torture for him. Okay, now we can consult. Actually, we need to do the quest first, then we can do the actual mission. Oh, sign. 